Hello and welcome to another week of energy and star sign readings with myself, Thomas Janak. We are looking at the week of May the 24th to the 30th, 2021. Now, on the 26th, we're having a full moon, which is also known as the flower moon. <clears throat> so, midweek, the energy will be higher. Those of you who are a bit moonstruck um, will feel more of whatever it is the guides tell you about your star sign, so to speak, and anything that is going to be said um, for the overall energy is also going to be felt um, stronger. I know this doesn't apply to everyone, um, but then what does kind of thing, right? <coughs> In any case, let's have a look at the overall energy for the week ahead. Like I said, we're looking at the week of May the 24th to the 30th. Let's have a look at the overall energy. Let's see what's what. Easy peasy <laughs> for all of us. The overall energy, we have the leopard and the cat, two cats. Because the leopard has unique dots and is oftentimes um, thought to be um, <laughs> a panther, hiding is his um, uniqueness. <coughs> Here you haven't got a panther, you have the leopard. <coughs> so the message is quite simply, for all of us this week, May 24th to the 30th, allow yourself to be who you truly are. And because he has a domestic cat, do your own thing. If you feel like you want to remove yourself from um, stress and activities that aren't quite for you this week, um, you don't have to break anything off, but you have the right to just go like, you know what, not now. So this is um, very short and sweet because that's all I'm getting for the overall energy. Because the other thing that I'm getting uh, from the guides very strongly <coughs> for all of us, um, is to understand that the only moment we really all have is now. So enjoy now. Let's, let's be who we truly are. And if it all gets too much, we do our own thing. Right? Short and sweet, let's go over to the first star sign of the week, which is Gemini. Let's have a look what we got for Gemini. So, Gemini, you have the Arctic wolf, the coyote, and the barn owl. Here's what that means. At this point in time, you may feel a little vulnerable, right? So this is also weak. Remember, over energy was too, if it is too much, um, step back a little. Because your energy here for this week tells you the universe knows you're vulnerable and what they're asking you to do is to trust and remember that you have survived 100% of your shittiest days, right? You, you've done well and you're still here, if that makes sense, because the, the middle animal guy that you have is the coyote. And the one in the middle is the one we pay the most attention to uh, because it's flanked by two others when the guides give us three of them, which they have for Gemini. <clears throat> and the coyote is what is called a scavenger. And so what, the, what that means is you don't have to stress a lot this week. Opportunities, <laughs> sounds weird, but it's just what I'm getting, will wait for you. This week, because you feel a bit vulnerable, just take the advice of the overall energy and um, walk away a little bit. Or, or detach yourself a little bit from things that aren't working. And in the case of Gemini, because your outgoing animal for this week is actually the barn owl. So you don't have to say an awful lot. Don't repeat yourself. Don't over explain yourself. And if someone doesn't get it, I'm going to be swearing today, fuck them. <laughs> right? Moderate use of swear words. It's just what I'm getting is it's it's what you should be looking into is your domestic situation, whatever that means 
for you um, and just have a look if, if you need to maybe constantly reiterate on points um, say things again and again and again because that's part of feeling vulnerable and that shouldn't be there right that's all i'm getting for gemini's going to the next star sign for this week we're looking at the week of may the 24th to the 30th 2021 this is cancer let's have a look what we got for cancerians cancerians you have the gray wolf and the peregrine falcon <clears throat> very shamanic very native american so again what i'm getting a lot for cancerians when i say again i think this we had this last week um what I'm getting for Cancerians is to, to look into how you're feeling, into your well-being, whatever that means. Um, look into your well-being a little bit more also this week. Because you have the, the grey wolf, which means, you know, life is not as bad as, as it could be, but as you probably feel it is. You need to focus on the areas where you are in charge, if that makes sense, right? And what you can control, because there's this feeling of trying to control stuff, Cancerians, doesn't work. Go with the flow, right? Because you have the Parakeen Falcon as your outgoing animal, which tells you, you see shifts in energy, you see change. So this week, cut a long story short, look into your well-being. See how you're feeling and what can be done to make you feel better and just look at the areas that you can manage for want of a better word and don't pay much attention to anything else right so my feeling is for cancer that this is going to be sort of a week a week off where they're asking you to to don't quite be so engaged with stuff that doesn't serve you or or bring you happiness right short and sweet for Cancerians, going into Leo, let's have a look. All right, <laughs> big changes on the horizon. If you choose to go down that road, um, you have the rabbit and the seahorse. So what the guides are saying to you is, and I think, again, I remember having this <clears throat> uh, for Leo a couple of weeks ago at least, um, where the guides are saying is maybe it's time you diversified. So you have the rabbit, which means the rabbit hole. There's loads of opportunities that haven't been explored yet that can come your way. Really, really important. The reason why you should be looking into what isn't working and endeavor to make change is because your outgoing animal is the seahorse, which is all about um, inner guidance. If that makes sense so all they're saying to you is the answers all lie within and so um some people also have difficult or may, or may have difficulties reading you if that makes sense because what i'm getting is that that um seahorses are are um divinely cute and and people just look at them uh that way without necessarily caring all that much about them and so be or stay away from people who sounds really weird genuinely adore you but don't do anything for you or don't add to your existence if that makes sense right let the people put the work in you know you're going through changes you're looking into changing your future you're you're very likely looking for what am i going to do next kind of thing so it would be nice if you had uh, uh, people who are really on your side and maybe help you with little advice or maybe some research and so um in your case leos look into your immediate surroundings and your immediate um environment and see what is or isn't working okie dokie that was leos we're now going into the next star sign which is star sign of virgo Let's have a look what we got for Virgos. <laughs> okay. The way I hear this is, <laughs> of my guides, don't talk that much, Thomas. Okay. 
sorry. The message for Virgo is blessings are coming your way and things are going forward. That's all you need to know. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> that was Virgo going to the next star sign of Libra. <clears throat> Libras, this is a week for you to go within, look into how you're feeling inside and reflect on anything that needs to be reflected upon inwardly. If that makes sense. So you don't need to um, ask people, am I doing the right thing here? Do you think this is going anywhere? As nice as it is to have some support, sometimes people advise you from their point of view. And all the guides are saying to, um, to Libras is in order for you to get the answers you seek, you have to find inner peace first. You should trust that what you're feeling and what you're doing makes sense. And if it doesn't, you already know about it, right? Because what you have here in words is inner peace and illumination. So if you go inward this week, and my feeling is that it would be or will be aided with um, or via and through meditation and maybe asking guides to show up to be there with you, right? Um, because illumination really means that once you, you learn to not just rely on yourself, but trust your intuition. Trust that feeling that you have had all your life and that you can count on. <clears throat> you, are, you are in a much better place to plan a life for yourself. Right? <clears throat> that was that. That was Libra. Going to the next star sign, which is Scorpio. Let's have a look what we got for Scorpios. We're looking at the week of May 24th to the 30th, 2021. Another star sign that has the, um, the wolf. You have the wolf and Cocopelli. So what the guides are saying to you, again, it's going to be rather short um, for um, Scorpios this week. You see what's going on and you are the person that should actually look at people and situations and guide them, if that makes sense. You are supposed, I don't like the word in charge, but that's the word I'm getting. You are supposed to be in charge. So, you know, if, if other people are running the show, it doesn't feel right. And you need to have a look into, even if it's well meant, some people are not negative or bad people but you know they're, they're, they the feeling is you know they're, they're trying to help somehow and then they help from their point of view which is normally or usually not what you need Scorpios so all they're saying is you run your own show right command your own ship as you go as you go forward and um, what the guides are saying to you is um, and that's why I'm getting strongly for Scorpio even though it is not something that I hear a lot from the guides is for you to either make music or listen to music. They're showing me a guitar um, and they're showing me you playing. Um, there's there's two E strings on the guitar, and um, which is your solar plexus. And they're showing me you playing both of these. That doesn't mean you have to play a guitar. It just means like they're showing me music. And also in the vision that I'm getting is the, um, the wooden housing of the guitar is sort of leaned against the solar plexus and then you just play these strings you know the the the, the first one and the last one so the two e strings so to speak and let the vibration go inside you so you will be very much aided this week um by vibrational therapy and music is a great form of of that right that was scorpio going to the next star sign which is sagittarius Let's have a look what we got for Sagittarius. Okay, I say that a lot in, in the videos um, about overlapping energy and, um, you know, uh, and, and we have that here as well, because uh, we had a couple of star signs so far who had the wolf, which is all about you run your own ship and um, you are in charge. Now, 
for um, vegetarians this week, what the guides are saying to you is a gateway to another life is opening for you. But you need to realize that if you are more comfortable by being part of a group, if you feel more comfortable by following, this is something the guides want you to look at because there is a lot of leadership qualities inside you. And um, the, what I'm getting is, and I obviously can only give this to the star sign of Sagittarius, uh, so I'm not sure, f uh, f you know, with whom this resonates, but what I'm seeing is you leaving the safety of a group and start teaching. Um, so there's something where maybe you have to give a, a presentation and it freaks you out, or maybe it's time you set something somewhere, you know, and all the guys are saying is you're more than capable and you're well ready to, to go that next step. So look into your own leadership role. And it's not necessarily work-related, where you bring that leadership skill to um, a company, but bring that leadership role, the skills that you have innately, into your life, right? And that's all we've got for Sagittarians. Now we're looking at the next, the next star sign, which is the star sign of Capricorn. We're looking at the week of May the 24th to the 30th, 2021. Here is Capricorn. Right. Capricorn, you have the crow and the insect. You are not supposed to do an awful lot this week, right? The overall energy, remember, told us that um, we have the jaguar and the cat, which means be your unique self. And if it's all too much, just detach yourself a little. And with the crow, crow being the animal of transformation, you probably could do with a breather. And that's all they're saying to you. Take that breather because what the guides want you to explore and realize this week is that you are, in fact, important. So if you feel, or should you feel, I'm not, I'm, I don't feel important. You know, does it really make a difference if I'm here? That kind of thought. Um, you need to realize that what the universe is saying to you, you are enough and you are important. But it is important for uh, you this week to um, find that out by stepping back a little because you're still going to transformation, which means um, you're sort of a, <laughs> an unfinished product. And so you're bumping about. And so if that's the energy you got this week, that's the energy you got. And please remember that we're having a uh, full moon on the 26th. This one is called the flower moon, uh, simply because it was named that way, because at this time, flowers are abundant, right? And flowers have to open up, if that makes sense. So open up a little, you know, be, be a flower. Um, remember that you're beautiful. And um, sometimes when you don't feel it, it helps if you say it to yourself. Right? So really, really important also for you this week to, um, to um, remember how to take um, compliments. Right? Really important. Okay, that was Capricorn. Going into um, the next star sign, which is Aquarius. Let's have a look what we got for Aquarians. Okay, <laughs> Aquarians. A lot of stuff is coming up um, for you about your past. And what the guides are saying to you is, you don't live there anymore, right? So, and what the guides are asking you really to do this week, um, and it sounds a bit forceful, because you have the monkey and the bull. The monkey is all about um, the past. It is a reminder that we are primates and, um, and so much more, if that makes sense. So we belong to um, a strong heritage if that makes sense. Well, there's nothing wrong with being a primate. It's just who we are. So let's embrace it. And what the guides are saying to you is, but there are memories and there were events in the past that tend to flare up and that could give you a bit of 
oh, I've had enough of this and I can't heal from this. Yes, you can, but you need to be proactive about it because that's where the bull comes in. You need to say, you know what? I, I'm going to have that conversation um, about that topic, like about that elephant in the room, so to speak. Or if you feel like, you know what? Enough said. <laughs> then it's time to walk away. Right? All the guides are saying is, as much as the, the past was needed to make you who you are in the now, because you know we, 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 we are always learning, we're always progressing, we're never finished, uh, as, as it were. And so what the guides are saying to you is, while they're not asking you to dismiss your past, it feels to me that in the past there's also some trauma that still sits inside you. And this is the week for you um, to either, um, again, take the bull by the horns, either um, have conversations with the people who caused it, if that's possible. Um, it's almost like making a stand. And the other thing is just recognizing when um, these things are not changeable, if situations or people don't change, it doesn't matter how often you try to have a conversation. Right. So that's that. That was all we got for um, Aquarius. I think that was Aquarius. Yeah, it was. <laughs> and now we're going into the next um, star sign, which is Pisces, my star sign. Let's have a look at Pisces. Pisceans, we have the swan and the raven. What that means for all of us this week is that we are getting stronger. Right? Whatever it is um, you're going through, you're getting stronger. Um, you are also seeing, um, what's the word? Not, not opportunities, but, you, but you're seeing changes in energy and you can let on to this so that whatever it is you're manifesting right now um, can be achieved, if that makes sense. So it is a good week. Um, we're looking at the week of May the 24th to the 30th. It is a good week for Pisceans to now explore what it is that you um, are trying to manifest at this point in time. Now you have to swan. Um, a water bird that needs to be waterproof before it can swim. So there's this element of, of things may, not, not quite being ready yet, if that makes sense. So this is not about immediate results. But this is a good week to say, like, you know what? Um, I was lying in wait almost, and now I'm going to charge ahead, charge forward, and look into all of this, right? And then you have the raven, um, which is obviously one of those very, very intelligent magical birds, <laughs> if that makes sense. And because it is a magical bird, uh, or, or an animal that has magic attributed to it, um, make sure that you're not being guided by frustration, right? Allow yourself to believe that what you're chasing, because that's the word I'm getting, or what you're after, can be achieved, albeit maybe not in this particular moment, and look at it as if it was magic. Look at it and go like, yeah, I will, I will achieve this. And also what I'm getting is, if you, if you dream, dream big. So aim high, you get more out of it. Right? That was Pisces. And now we're going into Aries. We only have Aries and Taurus left. Um, now we're looking into Aries. Let's see what we got. Aries. <laughs> Aries, you have two P words. <laughs> Protection and pleasure. <clears throat> In short, remember the awful energy this week was to be your unique self, right? And if it's all too much to detach yourself a little and maybe even take a break and walk away from stuff you don't need because when you have the word protection, it just means that there's a lot going on that doesn't allow you to recharge your battery. And you have the right to feel 
protected. I'm not getting the term, I'm feeling safe, I need to be safe, that makes sense, but protected, right? Um, it, it's, it's almost about, it's almost, um, the, the feeling that I'm getting is they're talking about your integrity here. And um, if you, and my feeling is again, uh, if you do too much for others, they become takers and then you have no time and no energy left to recharge your battery. So this is what this is about. And the way to go about it is with the second P word that you have, which is pleasure. Pleasure, little treasure, right? So have fun, enjoy yourself, right? So it's really, really interesting because now that the lockdown is over, this one at least, um, and you can, you can, you know, meet friends, you can sit inside restaurants and maybe go to the cinema, go to a gig if one is on. There are options at this point in time where the guides are saying is, go out, do something just for the moment. Because again, I said that earlier, being in the now is so important. And that's what they're asking you to do, right? Take a break from the things that aren't working. Take a break from the things that are a bit difficult and really go out and enjoy yourself this week. All right, that was Aries going to the final star sign of the week, which is Taurus. Let's have a look at Taurians. I'm actually yeah, looking at a deck here. Good energy for um, Taurus. You have the great horned owl and the mountain goat. So what they're saying is you don't... You, <laughs> Obviously, you can do whatever you want, but the feeling is don't explain everything 10 times, right? You are a wise person and you have said your piece maybe once too often, I don't know. Point I'm, I'm getting is, or the point I'm trying to make here is, what the guides give me, is for you to realize that sometimes, you know, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink, that kind of thing, right? Don't waste your energy um, on situations and people that that won't get it, right? So that's one of the things that I'm getting. But you have the mountain goat, which is um, um, a card of getting somewhere or an energy of getting somewhere. And so what the guides are saying to you is, even if you say less, you're getting somewhere. Or perhaps if you are less invested in trying to change things and rectify things, right? Maybe go it slower. Um, you get there in the end. So that's all we got time for. That was uh, Taurus. We looked at the week. Uh, we were looking at the week of um, May the twenty fourth to the thirtieth. It's quite funny. as a memory coming into into my head. Um, my uncle uh, in Germany in the seventies when I was a wee boy, he would sing a song and the lyrics were, were, were basically saying um, the world is coming to an end on the 30th of May we haven't got long to live and he was singing it in, in a hessian you know Frankfurt uh, slang am 30. Mai ist der Welt untergang mir leben nicht mehr lang mir leben nicht mehr lang am 30. Mai ist der Welt untergang mir leben nicht mehr lang so obviously he was never right <laughs> should he be right this week was really nice knowing you all. <laughs> now, really, I don't know why that song came into my mind. Very likely because um, the week ends on the 30th of May. And so that memory about um, everything ending on the 30th of May popped into my head. I'm pretty sure I see you all next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>